Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Chrysler. I'm an Ableton Certified Trainer. And for today's quick tip, I want to talk a little bit about how to create your own risers from scratch using reverbs, which is kind of a non-traditional way to do so. Uh, but before we get into that, I do want to give a quick shout out to everybody who has been supporting the channel. We've been growing a lot recently, so uh, a big thanks to all you guys. If you have not yet subscribed, I would highly recommend it. I release videos every Monday and Thursday about different topics related to Ableton Live. Uh, so without any further ado, let's kind of dive right into it. So to start off, uh, you can use almost any sound you want to make this kind of sound. Um, I actually highly recommend using a sound that's already in your song. That way the riser fits sonically with the song you're already writing. So in this case, I'm just gonna be starting with just a guitar, just a nylon guitar preset with a little bit of distortion. Sounds like that, but like I said, you can use almost any sound that you want. And we're gonna be using specifically the third party plugin Valhalla Shimmer. This is a really nice reverb that I think does this effect specifically really well. Uh, other reverbs, your mileage may vary quite a bit and they might not work quite as well or not at all. If you don't have Shimmer, you could also use the hybrid reverb in Live 11 and that will, that will also work decently well, but not quite as well in my opinion. So if I throw uh, Shimmer on here, it's gonna sound like this. It's gonna have this nice kind of echoey, reverby, washy, spacey sound. We're gonna take the mix control and turn it all the way up to 100%. So now we're only hearing that. We are then gonna take the feedback and we're gonna turn this up. This is going to control the length of our riser. So if you want a really long transition, you can turn this up really high. If you want a shorter transition, you can keep this pretty low. I'm gonna keep it somewhere in the middle, but it's up to you. Then what we're gonna do, and this is really the key here, is we're gonna take this size control and we're going to automate this either up or down. If I turn this down to a smaller number, it's going to increase the pitch. And if I turn it up to a higher number, it's going to decrease the pitch over time, uh, which is gonna get us our rising or falling transition sound. So if I start in the middle here and I play a sound and I turn this up, it creates our rising sound, or if I go the other direction, you get this kind of like slow down effect, which is pretty cool. So you can go either direction depending on what you're trying to do energetically with your song. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna take whatever sound you want, run it through Shimmer, crank up the mix, control the feedback as you see fit. You can play with the other settings if you want. Those are all kind of optional, but the big key here is to modulate the size over time. So we're gonna go in here. I got a MIDI note. I'm gonna find Paul Shimmer, find the size. I'm gonna start it somewhere in the middle and have it move up over time. And let's see how this sounds. Cool, and now I have my transition sound, my riser sound. Um, I could freeze this and flatten it to turn it to audio. Uh, you can kind of then toss more effects on it. You could toss you know, delays, phasers, flangers, distortion, tweak it to make it uh, a little more gritty, whatever you wanna to do to it and make it yours rather than just going to a sample library, you know, downloading uh, a sample of a riser that literally everybody else has used. Now you have something that's specific to your song and you can customize it to your own personal taste. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about different kinds of risers, I made another video on the channel earlier about how to do a similar kind of thing using white noise and the resonator audio effect. Uh, so feel free to check that out as well. Also, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about what we do at Catalyze Academy, you can check out more info at catalyzeacademy.com for classes and lessons and workshops and other things that we offer. So that's it. Hopefully that is useful for you. Hopefully you end up using this in one of your tracks in the future. Uh, and again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.